Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my saltfish fritters. I actually filmed this video last weekend, but with everything that's been going on, I haven't had the energy, the motivation, the time to be doing up intro and editing videos and whatnot. So um, it's like after after work every day, I've been in the supermarket looking for shit. Like it's so annoying. But do you know what? I feel like I've got everything that we could possibly need. Um, I'm not going to need seasoning until all 2029. I spent £30 on seasoning in the market. Because I was thinking, all these people, it's true. Like, are buying up meat and fish and whatnot. But but have you got enough seasoning? That's a very important um, aspect of food, you know. So um, I went to the market, bought everything that I need. And um, yeah, so salt fish fritters is probably a very good thing to be cooking at this time. If you've got a house full of people who are going to be hungry as hell... You're going to need um, to keep feeding them, sadly. Do you know what I mean? No more school dinners and all that. So you might want to whip up a little salt fish fritters. It's easy to do. Um, the ingredients are simple. They're things that you must have now in your big ass stockpile because I know your kitchen is full to the brim. Um, and yeah, salt fish lasts a million years. It's kind of like dinosaur fish. Well, the way it's um, preserved in salt, it's not going to go off anytime soon. So it's um, a perfect thing to have at this time when you're uncertain whether you're going to be able to go to the supermarket um, every weekend or whatnot. So I've got a good amount of salt fish to last me and you can fashion them into so many different dishes. It's perfect, really. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you're all okay. I know, like, for me at this moment, my head is just blown with... Like, it's surreal what is going on so um yeah i just can't get my head around it um and do you know what i'm all for going with the flow yeah i will go with the flow till the cows come home but i need to know which way the flow is going to go you know i need to know which direction the flow is flowing because otherwise it's like i don't know i don't know what's going on to be fair all i know is <laughs> i'll be happy with a saltfish fritter do you know what i mean i'll just be in here locked up saltfish fritters some hardo bread you're good to go but um yeah it's just a time when we don't know how life is going to be like how am i supposed to work from home but be at work but be a stay at home teach your mum do up conference call while whilst wiping bottoms like it don't it don't make sense do you know what i mean could you imagine being in a conference call mama 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 can you wipe my bum all right give me a second sorry 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 everybody i'm just gonna go and wipe my child's ass like <sighs> I don't know i'm not even going to stress about it but um yeah we'll do what we can do but you know what i hope you enjoy the video cook your saltfish fritters comment down below if you've made them um if you have any suggestions for me i'm not going to listen to your suggestions because my saltfish fritters are perfect but um yeah look after yourself seen as i assume i'll be in the house much more because i'm not planning on going nowhere i will be doing um a few more videos somehow i'm gonna try and balance it all between living in in these four walls working in these four walls doing youtube in these four walls i don't know but um yeah i hope you enjoy the video Mwah. okay so as i said in the intro today i'm going to be making saltfish fritters um i've got a small kitchen so i thought we would just focus it on the main cooking area so you're going to see my hands doing a lot of lot of things but um you're probably not going to see me much um right let me get straight into it saltfish fritters the saltfish that i use is a uh, island sun it is skinless and boneless make sure you get skinless and boneless because one time me and my friend when we were younger we i can't remember what we were making but i bought the wrong saltfish basically i bought the one with the skin bones all kinds of things eyeballs i don't even know what it had in it i remember boiling it yeah when we took it out it was uh, it reminded me of that fish in the Simpsons with the three eyes, like if you were to chop him up and boil him, all kind of fins, flappy, flappy fins. It was just, we had to throw it away. We couldn't do anything with it. So make sure you get your skinless and boneless saltfish. This is, um, with saltfish, you can get cod, but the one that I get is pollock. It's just a, another um, white fish. This is an Alaskan pollock. Um, but yeah, I always go for the Sun Island one when I can, if it's there. This is 300 grams in this pack here, 300 grams sometimes it's not there so what you might end up getting is this corvids one same thing skinless boneless um what is this pollicle cod what is this this is but i decided i don't want to tell you again this one doesn't have a description what is it i don't even know oh, it's just peel here but i haven't got time for that but um 
this it's not cod because there was a cod and i saw three pound 20 i said no let me get the two pound one um thanks to this shitty corona everything's gone so i was left with this crap this is a, a 200 gram bag so um yeah you don't get as much in this one as you do this one's only 50p more this is usually about two pound fifty this one was two pounds so um always go for this one if you can this one is like is my little backup dancer but um right now what i'm using is this sun island um skinless boneless salt fish so what you have to do is the night before you want to do your your fritters you want to soak your salt fish rinse off all the salt because as you will see in the packet there's low, a lot of salt in it. And if you give this to your family, someone's getting heart disease. Yeah, you can't, you can't just give them like this. No way. So make sure you you soak your fish. I just literally rinsed off the majority of the salt um, in cold water. Then um, filled this pot with the obviously the fish and cold water, and I've left it here overnight. So I did this at about maybe 11:30 at night. Um, and yeah, it's like afternoon time. So this is that's enough time just to get just to get the majority of the salt out. If you can be bothered, you might want to fling this like dash this water away and put fresh water. But as far as um, when I do it, I know roughly that this is going to be it's still going to contain a decent amount of salt where I'm not going to then have to to add salt into my um, into my fritters. So I'm just going to throw this off. Um, give me a second. I'm just going to throw this off the, the water and then I'll be back. One sec. Okay, so I've, throw, I've um, thrown away the water. Let me just fling the pot lid there. Um, what I'm going to do now is shred the fish. Right, so you want to get your chopping board. You're going to need a knife, obviously. Um, what I do is I... Can you see? Yeah, you can. I angle my knife like that and literally just run through it because you can see that it flakes off nicely. You're not having to, um, to chop it up and have chunks and that. If you do it at an angle like that, it li you know, look. You're not going to have massive chunks. But you know what? Some people might like massive chunks of fish in their fritters. I like it to be pretty even, evenly distributed. So I just try to get as um, small as I can um, in terms of the pieces. So just run your knife right. Mind your fingers though, because um, some of these knives don't play around. The other day I was cutting strawberries. I nearly took off the whole of my hand. But um, yeah, you just want to run your knife over it. Keep going, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop. Um, some, do you know what a good, good, a good um, reason as well why you should use your knife is because sometimes, obviously it's skinless and boneless, but sometimes you do come across a, a bone, and when you've got kids, it's never, it's you know, it's never um, ideal to be having loads of um, fish bones, especially in something like a fritter that is pretty much you could just fling in your mouth and um, don't really have to worry about anything. So, yeah, when you do, when you use your your knife, you can kind of. Um, feel if the knife has ran through any sort of bone right now i haven't felt any bone so i'm just going to keep going um what the other ingredients that you will need and i will put everything in the description bio if that's what you call it um you're going to need one red pepper you're going to need about five spring onions um and one um one regular onion i always use red onions because i just i just love colorful food so i prefer my fritters to look like they've got do you know what I mean a lot going on in them um you could use a white onion if you want I also bought some um pink onions the other day so whatever onion you choose um you know do your thing but sorry just keep cutting my fish you don't want too many big chunks it's all getting a bit mad now but just cut it up like that almost done there's a few little straggly bits in the pot you just take them same way little straggles little straggly bits Right, you might want to just hiya, wire, hiya, cut it up a bit more. So as you can see, it's very bitty. Yeah, look, it's just flaking, just flaking away. Right, I'm just gonna rinse out the pot because in mama time we don't we don't want to use up so many dishes. I'm not gonna go come out and bring a big old nice white glamorous bowl. I'm gonna mix everything in the same pot that I had the fish soaking in. So I'm just gonna rinse it out one second. right so all that i'm 
just gonna put that right back into the pot at this time you might want to get your old frying pan on to start heating up the oil oh gosh it's all over the gaff so that's what I'm going to do. Just going to rinse off my hands because I've got fish hands. Um, you want to put your um, oil on uh, medium heat. Let's do that now. Right. Oh, there we go. Right. Just going to heat it up nice and slow, baby. Pour your oil in. You're going to want, do you know what? I said to myself, I'm going to do measurements. because When I cook, I don't measure a damn thing. But I'm thinking for you guys, it would make sense if I measure. I love these little measuring um, uh, utensils. This is half a cup. So it's going to help me out and know how much oil I tend to use. But ultimately, it really will depend on your frying pan as well. Like how shallow, how wide it is. You want enough so that um, you pretty much cover the majority of the fritter when it's cooking. Um, right. Lord God, I won't even count into backside. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to watch this video back and see how many um, times I have done it. But however many that is, I'll let you know in the description. I'm gonna go for another another one. That will be enough. Wow! That was, uh, that's half a bottle of bloody flora. Wait, I know, I'll tell you. How many was this? Two liters, that come like a liter of oil. Jesus Christ, no wonder we have health issues. Right, not we as in me and my family, I mean we as in, um, uh african and caribbean people and asians because we do tend to love a little onion bhaji a little saltfish fritters a lot of oil involved um right so in the pot at the minute i have got the shredded saltfish i'm now going to season the saltfish i don't know if i spoke i haven't spoken about the fish seasoning yet so you're gonna need some fish seasoning okay I do not recommend, I'm sorry to say, I don't recommend um, Tropics. I use it because it's okay. But what I would suggest to you, if you can, you ought to get Easy Spice. Listen, you see Easy Spice is my favorite seasoning. It's what I use in, in the majority of my cooking. This is a jerk seasoning, very nice. But um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, it's £4.59 for this packet, so it's not cheap. But you see the Easy Spice fish seasoning? It is my favorite. So um, I, I ran out. And I, and I haven't, I'm going to tell you, but I haven't had the chance to go to the market because that's the only place where I find that. Whereas this kind of fish seasoning, whether it be the Duns River variation or the Tropics, they have this in um, supermarkets and it tends to be about a pound. So this is my backup. Um, whereas I would prefer and I would always recommend you guys to source some easy spice. You may have to go to the market for that. Um, so what I'm going to do at the, at the moment, or sh let me get rid of this stupidness for a sec too much going on right i'm gonna season my fish with um this fish seasoning right i'm gonna use the lid to kind of um, give you a rough idea of how much you should use okay but really i probably shouldn't do that because if you were to be using the easy spice there is no lid oh no it's just a stress i'm not used to that it's, it's so difficult when you're so used to doing something automatically and then you got you try to show other people that's why so many people have asked me for um like my, my, what do you call it? My um, saltfish fritter recipe, but because I don't really measure anything, it's hard for me to let people know. All right, I'm gonna say three dessert spoons, or three, well, we just call them tablespoons, three tablespoons of, um, of fish seasoning. Right, now, you're gonna need some curry powder. I swear by Bolt's curry powder, but every every family and whatever have their own curry powder. Some people use Jamaican curry powder, whatever. I believe this is Indian curry powder, you know, Bolt's. Yeah, Bangalore. So, um, but I love it. It's never let me down. Um, I've got the mild version because, you know, I've got a child and that, and she's not the greatest person when it comes to handling spice. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna fling some curry powder in. Um, what's that one tablespoon roughly not a heap that one a heap tablespoon I'm gonna say you need one and a half tablespoons of curry powder I'm not gonna lie along the way I will probably add more because I do things visually do you know what I mean if it don't look right then you kind of know what to do so um, don't worry it's all gonna work out in the end so that was about um, one and a half tablespoons of curry powder now garlic puree 
The reason I use garlic puree is because no one wants to be the unfortunate soul to bite into a big piece of garlic in their fritter. Do you know what I mean? It's going to ruin their day. So I use the, the, the what do you call it? The garlic puree I use is Italian one, Gia. But do your thing, get your own, get whatever, whatever um, garlic puree you're into. That's fine. I'm sure it's practically the same. Whereas actually this Gia one has a bit of salt in it. So I think some garlic purees are just, um, are just purely garlic. So you've got to be careful when using this one because you don't want to salt your food too much. This measuring malarkey, I'm not a fan. All right, this is a tablespoon and this is how much I've put on there. You know, work it out for yourself. I would say that is about, I would say if that was flat, that would be a whole tablespoon. Woo! Right, what I'm gonna do now is just mix that in. Jum, 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 jum. Right, here we go. Lord God, the oil. Let me turn it down for I burn up my skin. There we go. Mmm, it smells nice already. So, that is the fish seasoned. I'm next going to um, cut up my, um, what do you call it? Veg. I'm gonna rinse this off quickly. Let me just put it on pause because so I don't want to have too many blank spaces. Okie dokie. So um, I just rinsed off the topping board. I actually cut up some spring onion beforehand because um, I don't want to waste so much time cutting things up. But this is this was five small spring onions. So you might want, if you've got big ones, you might want to use maybe three. Um, but do you know what? It's up to you how much veg and whatever you put in there because um, some people like more, some people like less. Some people might not even put any veg at all. So um, it's totally up to you. But I do like a bit of spring onion in mine. So that was about five small, like them skinny little spring onions because certain people want to buy out every spring onion in the shop. Thanks, Corona. Um, there we go. Now I've got my red onion. I'm literally going to slice that up. Let me just rinse off my knife. There we go. Now you're gonna want to cut this up pretty fine because um again you don't want unless you're making you want to make it more like onion bhaji, you don't want massive chunks of anything. You just want really for your fritters to have an even distribution of um of everything. But that's just that's just my preference at the end of the day. Like if you some people like things a bit more chunky, a bit more rustic. So I'm not the greatest at chopping. But um yeah, it's up to you. I just do it like that. Then just, you know, zoom. I'm not going to pretend to be one of those people that can cut things 100 miles per hour because, you know what I mean, I like, my, I like the use of my fingers. So I'm just going to cut it up. It doesn't have to be tiny, but you see, once by the time you kind of mess these about, they will, sh they will um, break down into smaller, in smaller chunks. So that's my one red, uh, red onion. I prefer red onion to white onion personally. But if you want to use a white onion, go you. Um, I have got, I've just roughly chopped a red pepper in here. Um, some people call them capsicum, sweet pepper, whatever you want to call it. I'm literally just going to chop it up into kind of, oh my eyes. This is why I don't like onions, man. I've even got my glasses on and it's funny me. Gosh. I'm just going to, ow, I'm just going to chop these up. Why is my forehead burning too? No, what's going on? What kind of onion is that? It's, the, it's them, tes no, them Tesco ones. Right. Just going to keep, wow, no, I can't see. Pray for me, guys. I can't see a backside thing right now. But we keep moving, we keep moving. Um, Yeah, you just want to chop up your, aunt, your, what is this? I can't even see what I'm doing. So I chop up your sweet pepper into little squares. I've got a feeling it's going to be a long ass video again, guys. I know my second video again, whilst I'm doing this, thank you so much to everyone who's watched. Um, I know it was a long one. Do you know why it was a long one? Because I don't know when to stop talking sometimes. But um, no, but I appreciate, I really do appreciate the support. It's early days and that, so I'm hoping to just come bigger and better. And um, we'll see how we go with this cooking video. Um, but yeah, I, listen, I love cooking, I'm telling you. I think it's mainly because I love eating, but do you know what? And I must say, I'm so thankful that I've, I've grown up it, like learning how to cook because as a youngster, 
listen, if I said to my mum, mum, mummy, I really fancy some saltfish fritters, she would have said, she said, okay, cool. But she made me, she would make me go to the market, because back then you couldn't go, there was no world, world food section, the world food section was, um, was, was the Italian, I mean the bolognese and that, um, but yeah she would make me go to the market which which i don't know about you but even as an adult sometimes that's quite daunting do you know what i mean so um as a child it's, it was a bit nerve-wracking so she'll make give me the money i'll go and get my like the salt fish everything all the ingredients she'll give me a list and then um yeah i will be screwing though like oh, oh she's so lazy got me doing it but it's not now as an adult i can see it's not because my mum's lazy and, and my mum is far from lazy but um it's because she wanted to, that was her way of teaching me do you know what I mean if you want something go get your things this is what you need it's another way as well like managing money do you know what I mean here's your here's your 20 pound these are the things you need don't make the man um um book you and and give you about the wrong change otherwise you're gonna have to go straight back and tell him my mum said run me back my money but um yeah and and I also not only did I have to get the ingredients, I would have to stand up and watch and turn into sous chef and help people. Is sous chef the right word? Assistant chef and help her um, help her do it. So that was another way that my mom kind of um, trained me and helped me and, and taught me how to how to cook. I must say that a lot of the recipes that or ways that my mum does things, I have over the years like put my own twist on it. But that's how everything starts. So to all you mums out there, yeah. I know this might sound bad, mine. So it's a seat whilst you're stirring, you might find bigger bits. Either fling that away or cut it smaller. I'm going to cut it smaller because I waste not, want not. But um, all you mums out there that think you're you're doing right by your child by um, doing everything for them, oh, go and have a great time, live your life, be a child, and I'll do everything. And then when they grow up so whatless, like, don't be upset. It's because you didn't really, you did everything for them. You thought you were doing the right thing by babying them, but honestly. It's not like you might think that you're being mean at the time that you've got them doing chores and washing dishes and that listen i had a friend she could not come out of her house unless the dishes were washed do you know what i mean like and that's good home training like at the time when you're 15 16 you'll be like oh my mom's just being difficult she's not she's setting you up for life right so i've mixed up my veg and everything uh the veg so i've got in here just to reiterate or just to go over it salt fish spring onion a red pepper and my um my regular onion i've used a red onion but you can use your white onion or whatever cool this is where it's going to get political now because i'm going to have to start using flour again as i keep saying i don't do any measurements so this is going to be fun and games i'm going to get my, ah! oh, i need to um find a way to set up the camera so that you can see everything that's going on because the way i um bang around this place not a joke so right now i'm gonna put some tesco's um self-raising flour you can use any self-raising flour some people make their fritters with plain flour i prefer my fritters to be more puffy and puff up and um and nice yeah if you want flat fritters then you can use plain flour but i use self-raising what was that oh okay so so it's all gonna get a bit fun right I'm going in with one cup first of all I feel like I'm going to use two cups one cup I'm just gonna just for measurement purposes I don't usually do this where's my good good spoon I'm going to um I'm gonna just mix it out so I can visually see what it's looking like nope I most certainly need more I'm gonna go in again with another cup of flour here we go here we go that will definitely do again i might just add as i go along if i need to but right now i'm thinking two cups of flour is roughly just about what i would use um at this stage so you're gonna add water but i just like to mm -mm, could i miss i just like to oh, i just like to um mix it out first of all just so i coat the fish evenly from the jump right now we're gonna get some water so you just want use your water whatever you water you use tap water bottled water whatever you want to do i'm going to start off with one cup i'm going to mix that in then we're going to see how much more we need one 
right so as you can see but we most certainly is gonna need some more water right let's see if we're gonna have to need a two copper i feel like that might be too much i'm just gonna put half of this so so far i've put fucking hell sorry i put um back mine you gotta be careful you know stand well back stand well back in these situations water and oil do not mix oh my stand well back from that you know because i've seen all kind of pictures where people are told their skins tear off from um from frying chicken one time <laughs> once my friend yeah it was a summertime to their chest out she had a like um she had a vest on i said babe i didn't know you had freckles all on your chest she said no girl she said i was frying chicken the other day and the whole thing splattered on my skin she had like little freckle looking things all over her chest boy that was funny to me not funny to her right so as you can see i'm gonna leave it at this i don't want any more water so what i'm gonna say to you is one and a half cups of water and when i say cup i don't mean any cup you got in your house you know cup is an actual measurement so go and buy, buy yourself a little um, pack of those um measuring things naya yeah. stop trying to do cameo what's up go on what crisp just all right go on have a crisp so we can treat yourself right so this i would say is the consistency that you're looking for let me zoom in look i know it looks like um it's not going to be great but it's going to be great now what i've noticed is i'm not a fan of the color at the moment i need more seasoning so i'm going to go in with a bit more fish seasoning just a sprinkle just a sprinkle oh god it's getting hot in here but when i fry food i try my best to be fully clothed because um as i was saying like people have real disasters you know right that will do okay now another thing that i do now when if you're just adults and whatnot i would say cut up maybe half a scotch bonnet and put it in just for a nice bit of spice but where um i've got to give this to my daughter I don't want to be playing roulette with who gets the piece of scotch bonnet. That's how it used to be when I was younger. My mum would cut up the scotch bonnet and just say, mine, because there's scotch bonnet in there. You wouldn't know which one it's in. So it's just, it's just the luck of the draw. So what I do is I put a little bit of, um, of pepper sauce. Now, not going to lie, this Bayesian pepper sauce, Bayesian pepper sauce in general, I must say is the best pepper sauce um i tend to use this one but if you don't have this then you can literally get this one from any of the um what's it called encona you can get this hot pepper sauce from most supermarkets but i prefer and i would suggest if you can um get the bayesian pepper sauce so let me just pop some in um or let me get another spoon because i've long way my other spoon I'm gonna say, and the good thing about pepper sauce is it gives like an overall heat, but no one should really um, have their face burning off. So I would put a tablespoon of um, Bayesian pepper sauce. Now what I must say is you must do a test fritter. Like in all the times I'm cooking fritters, the first one you wait for it to cook, you taste it, yeah? Then you realize, oh, I could do with a bit more garlic or it could do with a bit more, um, I don't know, fish seasoning or whatnot. Or you might say, do you know what, it's a bit too, it's a bit too, um, it's not as, as stiff as you'd want it. So you may want to add some, some more flour. So definitely don't go and start putting in a hundred different fritters. Do one, have a nibble, because all this is hungry work anyway, so you need a little snack. And then you can, then you can gauge whether you need to put more, um, more seasoning or, or more flour. Right. And the last thing that I tend to put in is, uh, one egg uh so i've got these eggs here just gonna crack one they're blue so don't think your eyes are going crazy they are blue these are tesco's finest blue um what does that say arucana arucana um eggs right you've got your egg in there you just wanna that yolk is orange what kind of egg is this what kind of fish um chicken is it right the egg, all the egg does is just to help bind it all together. So I'm just gonna, sorry for the noise, I'm just gonna, woom, 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 woom. There we go. 
Now that looks all right to me. Um, I'll taste the first fritter, uh, see how it goes, and then we can add more of it, more or, or or sort it out basically, whatever we need to sort out. Oopsie, I forgot one thing. A bit of time. Um, where's the timer? Uh, right. So you just literally, please don't put too much time because time is not. Um, time can overpower anything it's in. Honestly, I'm literally putting that that amount of time. I feel like with any Jamaican cooking, it is um, it's rude if you don't put a lot of time in there. Very rude. Okay, I'm gonna say that oil to me. I'm just putting my hand over it. It feels right. Oil's hot. I'm just gonna do the test for it now. Before I do that, I'm gonna get my foil. I laid out some foil on a baking tray because I don't like washing up. And I am gonna cover that in some kitchen towel just because obviously we're frying food and we don't want any um any residual oil to stay in it so it's best to lay out some kitchen roll that can soak up any of that excess oil right here we go sorry about the lighting guys i know it might be a bit crap but i have to work out how i'm gonna put the the tripod with the ring light up in here it's a bit dark this afternoon Right, I'm gonna do about a spoonful, like that. And I'm gonna go straight into the oil. Here we go. Depending on what kind of shape you want, you might wanna flatten it out when you put it in. Some people like round fritters, some people like, I don't know, um, mini bites, mini bite size ones. Some people like big massive ones, totally up to you. Right, so I got him in the oil. I'm gonna push him to the middle of the um, frying pan, which I assume is the hottest. Flick a little oil on his on his back. Like that. You literally do, I know it's long, but you can essentially test it out, test out the fritters until you're sure that you've got the um, the recipe correct, you know, until you feel as if you're you're happy with it. Um, doesn't mean no one can eat them because they'll be edible, it just means that your most perfect ones will be probably not the first three, you know. So I'm just going to do that, I'm going to flip him over. I feel as if the oil's too hot maybe because um it's got brown real quick and these are quite thick so you don't want to be in a position where the inside is not cooked and the outside is crispy as hell i'm getting hot in here but i just I can't wear no clothes when i'm cooking fritters because or frying anything to be fair because um the risk of you getting splattered is a high as i've shown you what a little bit of water the thing goes mad been cooking on a low heat for what a few minutes now I'm gonna say about four minutes it's nice color on there nice brown color you can see the the veg kind of shining through you can see the bit of red onion bit of spring onion in there um, and yeah they're unique they're nice unique shape so all you have to do is just fry it off and give it a taste and see if it's the one that you know you know if you're happy with the the ingredients that you put in there right i tend to just push it down a bit so that the the heat can really go through the fritters right. now if you are happy with your recipe you've tasted it you're good then add more yeah i feel as if this might not be cooked in the middle something's telling me i don't know what it is but something's telling me and as i said if you've got little bits that break off obviously you can flip throw them away i i usually eat them because they're like mini little mini fritters isn't it whoa that's hot ah! mm. and you know what as well you kind of get the essence of what it's going to taste like it tastes nice mm.
literally I'm just gonna push it down I'm gonna say that is done as you can see it's kind of golden it's got that golden color it's not too dark it's not it's not as light as the mixture obviously um, I'm gonna say in my opinion that one's good it's gonna cut, cut it open oh so hot sorry if I sound out of breath I just can't it's so hot in here right now and I don't want to put the extractor fan on because it's gonna make up ah! a lot of noise got the window open though right yes that to me is done I'm just gonna give it a taste ah you know it's so hot I can't it's too hot smells good smells like it's done mmm <gasps> yeah mmm do I need to add anything honestly I might add a little bit more garlic puree just a few squeezes of that and mm, 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 I'm gonna be a bit outright not outrageous outlandish whatever the word is I don't know I'm gonna say that could do with a little bit more spice Naya will be able to handle it I put a few shakes of that in gonna give it a mix up and we're gonna go ahead with doing the whole batch now right so all you want to do in your oil you want to put a few remember you've used self-raising flour you know so you don't want to put too many in there because all that's going to happen is they're going to puff up and they're going to be all on bloody top of each other so just in any space that you have i'm going to say maybe about five can fit in my frying pan if i do them this size um here we go now if it was just adults i was doing this for I, f I would definitely put some scotch bonnet in there and you probably wouldn't have much of a problem in terms of it not being spicy enough but as I said when you've got children who aren't the biggest fans of heat got to be a bit more mindful you know hey guys still at it um I've done this amount I don't know two whatever I can't to count them and I've got another batch in here still going and I've still got, I'm going to say, maybe another four, um, four little ones in the pot. So, um, as I said before, it's not difficult to do, but it is time consuming. Like, my legs are tired. I do want to sit down. Um, I made some, some that are a bit smaller because what I find is that Naya, she eats her fritters, but then she doesn't want a big one, if that makes sense. So, I try to make varying sizes. So, these kind of smaller ones are good for when... She wants a little snack, but I know that my good fritters are not going to waste because she wants to eat half and then leave half on her plate and then try and come back to it two hours later. Like no, just have a nice small one and um, and done. Just taking these out again. Um, as I said, I just lay it on the 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 what is this stuff called? Kitchen towel, just so it can drain off. But as you, I don't know if you can see actually. I'll show you. There's not that much oil on the the white sheet of, of kitchen towel, kitchen roll. So um, they haven't soaked up that much oil, which is great. I'm just gonna pop them on. The newer ones I put flat on the on the on the kitchen roll, whereas the old ones who've had more chance to drain, I just pretty much bung them on top of each other. You can see varying colour variations, you know, some have been in there longer than others and whatnot. But um, I can see you creeping on me, Naya. Can I help you? Yes. What's up? I want a fritter. You want a fritter? Yeah. Okay, give me a sec. Let me just um, take these out. Oh my gosh, the whole roll, Naya. Pick up it off the floors. You mustn't do that. Look, you don't need that much kitchen roll. Honestly, guys. As I said anyway, and I've said from the jump, this is real life, yeah? I'm not going to pretend like I don't have a child and that she doesn't come in the kitchen mid, middle middle cooking. This is what happens. It's real life. So I'm just going to... I've literally just put a fritter in, um, in some kitchen roll for her. It's still a little hot, so be careful, okay? Toodaloo. Bye. Bye, baby. 
Oh, I lied. I said there was about four left in here. I'm going to say maybe three. So, again, back in the oil. Here we go. Thank God I can sit down and have a bloody cup of tea. Goodness. Honestly, being a mum, not even just a mum, being someone who... Mama. Is, yes, babe. You know I ate some Coca-Cola. Why would you do that? That's very naughty. You're not allowed. Go and brush your teeth right now. Oh. And you mean drank, not ate. Don't ever do that again, okay? Okay. Oh, guys. Welcome to my life. Not just my life, the life of a lot of mums. You know I ate some Coca-Cola, she said. Number one, how? Because my glasses is, is, is here and, and I know she hasn't come in. <sighs> right. Just moving these along. Kids, they're too fast. Imagine if I had some Jack Daniels or something in there. She would have been missing. <sighs> right. And this is the last lot. Honestly, I cannot wait. Ah, you bitch. I cannot wait to sit down. Get all these little straggly bits out. There we go. Don't want them to catch fire. Yeah. Don't know which poor sod's gonna get this little one. <laughs> oh, my phone's ringing. Hello. Hey, Gladys. We're done at it. Why? What's going on? What, Corona? Oh, no. Not me, though. Not me. Not me. No. I will, listen, I will stick ginger in my nostrils. I will put bloody turmeric on my tongue every 30 seconds. I know, I know. Right, guys, as you can see, I'm done. Finally, I can put the kettle on and have a cup of tea. But here are the finished products. There are about 20 fritters here. So that batch made roughly 20 fritters. Um, this is how they look. This is the kind of colour you want to go for. I love these like crispy, knobbly, bobbly bits. They were really nice. Literally have that with a salad, some um, some hardo bread, whatever. And chill. Stay indoors if you're self-isolating. Have a fritters. It'll make you feel better. And um, But please, can I just warn you again, when you're using oil, be careful. We've seen how many times I nearly got um, got burnt or whatnot. But thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, comment down below. Look after yourself. I look after me and mine. You look after you and yours. Peace.